Welcome to your Chiefs Halftime Report here, brought to you by Midwest Ford Dealers. A um, lot to get into, obviously, in this half. Uh, is the Chiefs jump out to the 21-0 lead, and we're all flying high, and Mahomes has three touchdowns and over 100 yards, and seemingly everything is going perfect, and then it didn't. And, and the switch that it took place, and I'll give you some stats here in a minute. The switch that took place is obviously the fumble takes place, uh, Chris Jones, Justin Houston, D. Ford, everybody gets in the mix. The ball comes out loose, eventually squirts out. Chris Jones picks it up, takes it into the end zone, only to have it overturned on a holding call by Orlando Skandrick that we didn't get to see. So we don't know. We don't know if it was a hold, but either way, that penalty negates it. Then the Steelers go right down against this secondary score immediately. A couple more three and outs for the Chiefs, and then you find yourself in a 21-21 game. I mean, there's, it, it's hard to feel... Offensively, I don't know if you can feel bad, right? They had a couple of short fields. They started around the 50 a lot of times, 8 to 10, 119 yards, three touchdowns, no picks, right? They put up 21 points and a half. Uh, yes, there are some things they could have done better in a few different drives. The running game still seems a little slow, just eight carries for 27 yards for Kareem Hunt. That means Sammy Watkins' 31 yard rush is still leading the team. Um, but offensively, it's hard to feel bad, right? They get Watkins involved, Travis Kelsey on that absolute laser beam back shoulder throw from Mahomes. He made several excellent throws. Chris Conley was involved. It's hard to feel bad about that. It's hard to feel bad about that at all. I mean, you would have liked one more sustained drive so that the Steelers don't get the ball back with a couple minutes left. But the Chiefs' defense also didn't have to let him go 90 yards in less than three minutes to end the half and let him get the two-point conversion just to put themselves in that situation. Ben Roethlisberger is on pace in this game to throw it 70 times. He threw it 25 more times in that half than Patrick Mahomes. 25. The time of possession continues to be an issue for the Chiefs. Is uh, sometimes they score quick or whatever it is, but the, you know, obviously the chart or the Steelers had the ball for an extremely long period of time. They didn't rush it incredibly well. Matter of fact, they barely rushed it at all. They only gave it to Connor three times because they didn't have to run the ball. They passed it 35 times. It's not even an exaggeration. He's on pace to throw it. 70 times, and they didn't have to run it because the secondary got hurt. You saw Steven Nelson, n you know, nursing an injury before the half. That puts them in an even further deficit. And the problem they're creating is they're not getting a pass rush. And then Ben Roethlisberger has all day to throw back there, and the secondary isn't particularly good because Ben Roethlisberger's on pace for what? Uh, he's got 28. He's on pace for about 550 yards and six touchdowns. That's bad. That's a bad defensive effort, no matter how bad your pass rush has been. They got torched. Now, it's 21-21, so I guess feel good about that. Obviously, feel a lot better if it were a, a, any kind of lead going into it. And offensively, they were having plenty of success because they're kind of a difficult team to guard. The only thing that doesn't make you feel any... Like, you can't feel good about it, because how can you? Not knowing uh, what this defense is capable of. We, you know, we joked a lot about the idea that... This Chiefs defense might be, you know, one that could be unstoppable with that. But it's, I mean, it, it's insane. Like, I've got four or five people in here like, oh, God, um, you know, Bob Sutton should be gone at half. And I, you know, I, I, di I didn't defend it at the end of the half or at the end of the season last year. And somebody pointing out some of the phantom calls have been an issue as well. Um, you know, Doug pointing that out. That's not necessarily wrong either, right? This team, like... I, I can't. I couldn't see the Orlando Scandrick one that was supposed to be for a touchdown. That's a nightmare. The back of the end zone one where they call it on Nelson, but then they're showing one at the back of the end zone. That hold seemed questionable at best. And a few others there, too. The Chiefs have been penalized a lot. There's a few that there were for sure. They were, they were penalties. But there have been a few against the Chiefs today, and specifically none bigger than the one there. I mean, and in holding calls to go with it, right? I thought that they missed... A couple there, even on that fumble return, too, where they go ahead and give him the holding, but it's not even offsetting, so don't give him a chance to get off the field. It was an issue for the Chiefs. The defense is a mess, a mess right now. Again, no amount of calls is going to justify the idea that someone's on pace for 550 yards and six touchdowns against your defense. Offensively, you have got to find a, a way to say, sustain a drive. They're scoring fine. They could just use one long drive, get that defense off the field for a minute. Because without Steven Nelson, now they're at even bigger risk. I don't even know how they solved that problem. We'll be back for the post-game video as well. We'll get you live interactions moving on. And I'll keep, uh, I'll keep an eye on this stuff and I'll react to you too. You can follow me on Twitter, Cody B. Tap. We'll follow you there as well and we can kind of interact 
uh, throughout the game. Thanks for joining us here for the halftime video. We'll be back after the game. And hopefully what is a better defensive second half for the Chiefs.